This is part two of the Cheap Lie Adventure to Sarajevo. Let's start off with the Bosmo Arlan Towers. These are two towers which have got cone MX-18 lifts, which are very nice. Upper floors and these lifts are locked, and priority does not override lockings. Oh, that's not right either. Come on. <laughs> However, I can still get to the upper floors by going on top of the lift. Let's now take a look at the price of food. All of the food here which I brought for lunch cost £4.50 which is pretty cheap and is roughly the same as Poland prices and food in Bosnia is actually very slightly cheaper than Albania. So then now we go along to Novotel which has got some Schindler 5400 lifts. And one of the lifts here is glass. And here I am up at the top floor. Let's now find out what is on floor 99. This is actually the mezzanine floor. Also pressing the star button goes to floor 99. Despite the fact the star button is meant to be for a fire exit which is the ground floor. And one interesting thing about Sarajevo is one of the few places where you can hear both Christian church bells and Muslim prayers in the same city alongside each other. go along to the important shopping centre. This has got some Schindler 5400 lifts. <laughs> and 
and the main lifts in the centre are some glass Schindler 5400s. Now we go along to the SCC shopping centre, the Sarajevo city centre. This shopping centre looks very posh. This shopping centre's got Schindler 5500 lifts. And now we go along to the Auto Shopping Centre. Outside of this centre is a mini musical fountain. And this shopping centre's got Glass Otis Gen 2 lifts. And it's now Hedgehog time! So then, along we go to the old town of Sarajevo. And this old town is not very interesting compared to the rest of the city. And in this old town was the only area in the whole city where I saw tourists. And to be honest, I do not get the point of travelling a world just to see the old towns of cities, which are usually the most boring part of the city. And going on guided tours, following someone talking shit about a place, to me, does not count as exploring. Why even bother travelling a world if that's all you're going to do? Anyway, let's now leave the city centre and go to the revolving restaurant. Now I've heard a lot about revolving restaurants in different parts of the world, but this is the first time I've actually got to see one in real life. This revolving restaurant has got Schindler lifts with destination dispatch. And let's take a look at the revolving restaurant. This is a very interesting piece of engineering.
So then, next door to the very posh looking revolving restaurant tower, there is an abandoned building. This building is very run down and dilapidated. Let's take a quick look at it. And this is where the lifts used to be. This place originally had shaftless lifts, but these lifts have long since gone. A shaftless lift originally. Oh, this was a nice building. And let's go up to the top floor. And here I'm at roof level. Sadly, there's nothing left of the lifts here. And now let's go along to the end of the tram route where there is a shopping centre called the Grand Centre. This shopping centre has a DJ in it playing music and it feels like a very lively sort of shopping centre. Sadly though the lift is just a gem too. I go along to a very interesting retro old fashioned style hotel called Hotel Holiday. On the outside it's been reclad and doesn't look as interesting but on the inside it's got this real old fashioned brutalist feel to it and it's very interesting. Sadly the lifts have been replaced with some very shit generics. All four of these generic lifts all behave differently and they are very strange. Not even a set. What a cheap load of shit. Just like I said, I was impressed with the good lifts in Bosnia, and this one lets it down. And now let's take a look at one of the other lifts, which is a different type of generic. I haven't even oiled it properly. Tracks are dry. And let's take a look on top of it. There was an old lift originally for the mod. And one interesting thing is that each one of these four lifts all behaves differently when you emergency stop it. This first lift behaves normally, reverses direction but carries on the journey without losing precision. The second lift after an emergency stop suddenly decides it's on the top floor and then it proceeds to travel there to refine precision. The third lift suddenly scrolls out of service on the indicator while it refines precision. And the fourth lift shows this on the indicator for some reason. So then along I go to a classic brutalist tower block. Weird set up.
and along to a small shopping centre near the airport, which has got a Schindler Smart. And now we go along to the airport, which has got a Schindler 5500. Thank you. 